So what do we have today? We have today basically the same thing as yesterday, meaning the same parties are still uh, deadlocked regarding the um, political situation in Israel, meaning that we're going for a fifth election in like two years, um, which will result probably not much else, uh, except that, you know, Gantz, who is the head of was actually a big liar and the head of uh, a movement called Kaholavan would probably wind up being um, prime minister in November because of some agreement uh, which was uh, which was uh, agreed on between him and Netanyahu who has dragged this country for a fifth time to an election and the crazy Likud party um, with their uh, infatuation for leaders um, that have managed to uh, screw the right um, by their insistence on uh, only Netanyahu. Uh, on the other hand, you have the, uh, the change uh, coalition who was basically uh, made an agreement with the devil, um, which is uh, for the, I mean, uh, if, you, if you look at it from a left point of view, which the, which the, ch which the change uh, coalition is not left, but, they, uh, but that's how Netanyahu likes to um, characterize it. They made a pact with uh, Bennett, who's more right-wing, and Saab, who are more right-wing than Netanyahu, who's basically not even right-wing. Um, they made a pact with Lieberman, who basically uh, will change his mind, uh, you know, Every week, if he's right-wing or le left-wing or anti-religious or anti-secular, whatever, whatever does him well in the, uh, with, it, with, with any uh, voters that he's trying to impress. Um, regarding uh, corruption, um, some of the characters on the left and the change coalition uh, could probably teach Netanyahu a lesson or two. Um, yeah, that being said, Netanyahu is definitely uh, taking this country on a bad ride, and uh, just a crazy, crazy ride, um, which has done very bad for the country. Um, but, uh, you know, his voters, his voters uh, will keep on voting for him because they like this, uh, they care more for the leader than for anything else. For them, a leader is a leader. They like a strong leader type. So um, they'll keep on uh, voting for Netanyahu. They're, they're, the, the, the people voting for him are mostly from the Sephardic community and from the uh, um, religious uh, Zionist uh, community. And then you have the ultra-Orthodox, which um, will always go with Netanyahu um, if they see that he had a chance. Um, they'll basically go with anyone who gives them any money. So we're deadlocked. Like once again, waiting for a new election, uh, which is another uh, holiday for because Israel is such a rich country that can afford this so often. Well, wish us luck. <laughs>